I believe I am within my rights in the actions I took, but apparently the governor feels differently. We'll resolve those issues so that we can make sure it's very clear in the future and none of these issues arise again. The emergency board meeting got off to an interesting start when Douglas moved all the media microphones placed at her seat. The board then went into executive session, and when Douglas returned, she once again removed all media audio equipment, dumping it far away from her. All the media, I'm not going to be treated any different than any other board member, so if you'd like to put microphones in everybody's seats, you're most welcome to. A roll call vote was held on a motion to give the two fired workers access to their offices, computers, and information they needed to do their jobs. It passed with just one no vote. No, and I will explain my vote. From Superintendent Douglas. President of the board, Greg Miller, made his own statement after the roll call vote. I'm very disappointed in the actions of the department and its, and its um, unworthiness towards our employees and trying to stop the action and the work of the board. The board voted to give board employees Christine Thompson and Sabrina Vasquez full access to their offices and documents by 8.30 in the morning on February 17th. But Superintendent Douglas had this to say. I cannot assure by 8.30 a.m. after a holiday weekend that my uh, staff here will be able to make all these changes possible. Douglas said that other people had been assigned to facilitate the duties of the two fire employees. Whether or not they are granted access by the designated time is yet to be seen. In Phoenix, Angie Schuster, Cronkite News.